Well, I've lost count as to how many episodes of this podcast we've done under lockdown. Yeah. S- or, for five? All of four? Them? Have we, we've done every single one under lockdown, haven't we? We've been in lockdown that long. Oh, yeah, we've been in lockdown since uh, pod episode one, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we've never, ever not been in lockdown, ever. <laughs> it has been our lives. <laughs> Does that give a reflection on how you're feeling right now, or are you okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm all right. It's a new start, isn't it? I'm yeah. in my new. I'm in my new surroundings, so I might sound different in this room. I don't <laughs> know. I've only ever recorded in this room when it's been empty and echoey as hell. Um, and now so there's stuff for, hope- for the sound to bounce off. Now there's plenty of things in here. Yes, yeah, all good. of the things. Got about like eight consoles and a big telly and lots and lots of games. So, Is it your little good. hideout when all th- when things go bad? You're like, right, I, I need to go to my room. <laughs> yep. Go to your room. Okay, gladly. <laughs> yep. That's the 21st century. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Adults go to your wanting room. to okay, go to I'll their room. N64. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, well, how did the move go anyway? You all settled in there enough anyway yeah, it to was, live? It was a it was a long old week last week. It was knackering as hell. Um, so it was good to go back to work and have a rest. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose Monday. it's one of those that even though it was a, a knackering week, it's sort of still rewarding, and it wasn't a bad week because you know there's oh, a, yeah. there's an end goal. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, although we were back and forth here every day from kind of Friday evening all the way kind of over the weekend and every day last week we weren't actually in a position where we could sort of stay in the house until Sunday so um, it was sort of making sure that everything was ready for Sunday so that we could actually move in because we had no choice but to move in on yes. Sunday so <laughs> well yeah that's fair enough at least you're in now though yeah, it it kind of focuses you quite well. It's like, oh, we've got to get all this crap done today because it, we need to be done by Sunday. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I suppose the most important question is for the whole thing: Are your consoles plugged in and all working? That is the that's the big question. The ones I've tested are okay, um, and for the bearing in mind this is being recorded on a Thursday as per norm for us. Yes. Um, I spent all of about an hour on my PS4 earlier today, and that's the first actual gaming I've been able to do um, since before we started packing things away to move in. So it's probably the the first gaming I've done in about a week and a half, close to two weeks. And I bet it felt (laughs) wonderful. It was good, but then it was... I was I was in the middle of a playthrough of Final Fantasy VII on hard mode, and okay. as soon as I switched it on, and it was the a boss fight that I I must have died numerous times last time. I was like, oh yeah, that's why I stopped playing at this <laughs> point before, because it just kept killing me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think uh, she won't mind me saying, but I think Tasha had a very similar thing with her um, when she was playing The Witcher on Switch. Because she didn't, oh, yeah, okay. just went into a sort of period of not playing Switch for a week or so, and then she picked it up again, turned on the Witcher. She was like, "Ah, that's why I <laughs> turned it off at yeah. that point because there was yeah. a." I think she was in the middle of a was it a battle that you couldn't get out of? Yeah, it's just a, an exceptionally difficult battle that you can't, you literally can't get away from, and you're you're there. Yeah. You can't even be like, "I'll come back to that and and explore the rest of the open world." Yeah, yeah twenty seven attempts. Do this I now. think it was. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. And she's put the d- game down play? again and hasn't played it since. <laughs> does that play all right on the Switch? Uh, I believe it does play all right on the Switch. Yeah, yeah. Mm, haven't haven't heard any complaints. Fair if people enough. are thinking about it, it for, for Switch, I tried it for a few hours on PS4 and just was like, I, it's too much. I just I don't know quite what to do first so i kind of di- uh, uninstalled it <laughs> yeah i know she plays it handheld so um uh the 720 sort of nature of it i think works well mm, fair enough rather than going to the 1080 playing it on the telly so yeah yeah fair enough yeah so yeah it's it, yeah so, well, at least you're settled in and it's all good and you're back in the house. Well, I say back in the house. You were <laughs> never officially Actually. in it in the first place. Actually in the house. <laughs> that's the question. That's the Indeed, word, yeah. Indeed, yes. 
Yes, and there's a there's a spot on the sofa waiting oh, okay. for a collaboration at some point <laughs> when we're allowed. When we're out. allowed to visit houses, yeah. Yeah. When you want to come over the border. <laughs> Hello. Are you, are you back? <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. Oh, did you not? Oh, you froze on my end. Oh, you froze on my end. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> Technology. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's mine. Hang on, let me have a, let That's me weird. just see what I'm connected to. What am I connected to? Wi-Fi audio extender. I'm not editing. Uh, I'm not editing any of this out either. There's, people can <laughs> listen to this. Sometimes we just get moments like this. People listening at home. Yes. It seems um, fine now. Yeah, as a as a test, am I still here? Yeah. Oh, oh brilliant! Good. I just yeah, I just switched my from connecting to Wi-Fi to connecting to our booster. So hopefully that works. Oh okay. I didn't lose you at any point. So as oh, I said, I'm, I'm I'm I can't be bothered to edit any of that out. It will be a <laughs> nice little insight behind the uh, <laughs> the closed door as to what we sometimes have to put up with from each other. <laughs> yes, this never happens, and we never edit it out, guys. No, never. <laughs> We've left it in because this is the first time it's ever happened. <laughs> Yeah, it's the first ever technical issue we've ever encountered when we've ever done any kind of recording with each other. Ever. Exactly. I do not want to get rid of Sky Broadband and go to the much more reliable BT. Not at all. Yeah, I think we're on EE. Yeah, I think BT seems to be popular for our area. Oh, okay. Not that anyone wants to know about that. <laughs> yeah, no one cares. <laughs> Moving yes. on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but no, at least you moved in. Everything's going well. That's good. Yeah. And That's we're good. both kind of relaunching. Indeed, well, you've yes. already relaunched anyway, haven't you? You've already, you've already gone. Ah, Pokey Pidge channel. I know what this needs: an <laughs> Animal Crossing video. Yes. <laughs> Get the Pokemon <laughs> content. Let's do Animal Crossing. Yeah, that was just a, a yeah. That's up. And I have yeah. yeah, just as a sort of briefing update, I have all of my available Pokemon games in real life mini scripts written. I just nice. need to film them now. I have mm -hmm. all the game capture done for my top ten shiny Pokemon. I just and I just and the sort of scriptiness of it written. I just need to record it and then edit, uh, record my voice and then edit it. Little voiceover. Nice. Ding. Uh, ding ding. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is that shinies for just Sword and Shield, or is that across everything, or do you, would you prefer not to say? Uh, it's explained in the video, but that is just exclusive to Sword Shield and the Let's Go games, so that I can, you know, just make the video in a better quality. Yes, because of game capture reasons. Exactly, because if I start talking about a shiny that is on a it, that isn't available in either of those games, I'm just going to be talking about something that people are going to just look look at a picture at, which is fine, but yes. compared to the other entries, wouldn't be that great. But what, yeah, when I did my top ten list, there was only one that wasn't available on those games anyway. So that's it's all hmm. right. I just took it out and put another one in. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, so that's there. Pokemon games in real life part two is scripted. Just need to film that, but that will probably be Saturday. Actually, I might start doing it then. So there's Good stuff idea. coming, but it's yeah, Noise. just won't go into details. But it's been an absolutely horrific week at work, and it's been busy, and I just yeah, yeah, <laughs> can't wait for you it need to the end. weekend. Yes. <laughs> Cannot wait for it to roll end. on, roll on Friday evening. Exactly. But yeah, you got stuff coming on yours now that you're settled in, or are you still uh, just giving it a um, bit of time? Yes, I made after I did some notes for what we're or what I'm going to discuss later in this video. Um, I was kind of just jotting down ideas for what I kind of want to do, things that I haven't done yet, also kind of what I want to bring back. Um, I said in my kind of intro -y video that I'm going to be doing part six of WrestleGamia three um, oh, yes. because that I, I was just about to finish that series when my Mac died, and then yeah. not long after that is when we moved into Karina's mum's and I had no access to the GameCube or anything like that, so I couldn't even re-record anything. 
um, and try and edit it on my laptop. So that's been kind of sitting in limbo for six months, I think. Wow, yeah. <laughs> so it's, a, it's about time I finish that series. I've only got. It's really annoying because I've only got one video to go. If I'd have been right <laughs> at the beginning, I might have just abandoned it. But I was like, I've got one video left, so I need to finish that. And then from there, just kind of what I want to do as and when, I guess. Yeah. Um, I'll probably still do some streaming because I'm part way through a Final Fantasy 15 playthrough that again I haven't done for a couple of months. Yeah, um, no, that's right. Just because of house prep, but yeah, I've got everything here that I need so I can do um, kind of gameplay videos and discussion videos and whatnot. Yeah, your <laughs> your WrestleMania run just reminds me with the fact that I've still. Like, from almost two years ago, I've still got my um, Gym Leader Castle run-through to finish because I never did the final episode, which is Elite Four and Champion. <laughs> got all the badges and went, yep, that's that done. No, it's not. No, it's not, yes. <laughs> well, at least there's stuff coming from you anyway. Yeah, there'll, there'll be, and there, there's some new ideas as well. There's kind of a versus theme that I want to get across in various different guises. Okay. Um, that I'm kind of still working out the ideas for. I've kind of got a few possible routes for certain things, um, and that will kind of cross over between gaming and wrestling. Okay, fair enough. As as and when, yeah, it will kind of be an almost like an overarching kind of series, yeah, like a broader thing. Gaming and wrestling on your channel? No way, not on pixels I and know. pinfalls. I know. <laughs> Who would have thought it? And not an Animal Crossing in sight, because I, I watched your video and just didn't understand. I was like, this is, yeah, th if I knew this game, this would be perfect. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I'd never played an Animal Crossing game until this one, and I would not be surprised if it, uh, New Horizons is in Game of the Year for this year, like the nominations near the end of the year. I would not be surprised whatsoever it is. Definitely, because it's doing what the real world isn't doing and actually yes. allowing people to go and meet friends. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's like I... <laughs> Put simply. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I subscribe to What Culture Gaming, which is a yep. fantastic channel I would recommend if people do. And they did their top 10 or, or top games of the of 2020 so far. And they're quite a pop culture you know, channel. They've got obviously yep. different factors, What Culture. Um you know, so they there is a certain, certain genre of games they go towards more than other, you know, and I was surprised that the first one anyone mentioned about on that video was saying the Animal Crossing. <laughs> mm. And even in that, they were saying, if you asked me at the start of this year that Animal Crossing would be my favourite game of 2020 so far, I would have told you to just, you were insane. Yeah. But no, it was, yeah, <laughs> it was, yeah. Like I keep saying to people, it's one of those games you can play for an hour, real, you know, not really know what you've done for an hour, but you've enjoyed every bit of it. Mm. It's like, what did Sounds I do? Good. I didn't do anything. <laughs> but I had fun not doing it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm. What have you, uh, what have you brought for today anyway? We'll go for you first. Okay, no problem. Um... There was a lovely little Japanese advert a day or so ago into when we were recording for oh. Sega's 60th anniversary and a lovely little celebration of what they're bringing out, at least in Japan anyway, oh, okay. on the 6th of October. No word has been said as to when this is going to be released worldwide. Um, and it's a Game Gear, a tiny, tiny oh, little Game okay. Gear that basically fits in, well, I was going to say in the palm of your hands, but it's even smaller than that. Oh, really? It's 80 millimetres by 43 by 20. It's what? tiny. Eight. It's stupid, like stupidly small. Blimey, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is, wow, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's stupidly small with like oversized <laughs> He, he says measuring against his own hand. Sorry, everyone, yeah, you can't see that. I'm just <laughs> sitting here going, ridiculously yeah. Ridiculously small. Yeah. Like, you know, obviously, uh, Nintendo and, um, well, even Sega, they've gone down the, the route of, ah, oh, let's re uh, release a mini thing. No, nope, this is a micro. It's so bloody small. <laughs> Christ. 
And that's not the only small element. Um, the the games on this. Oh wow! Well, yeah. let's put it let's put it this way. The uh, Mega Drive Mini that was released um, had forty two games on it, and is roughly eighty dollars. Right. Or seventy of your Great British pounds. But I'm going to have to use dollars because that's the only equivalent I've got of the other thing. <laughs> so, of your 42 games, each game is roughly $1.90. Oh. Right? The Game Gear comes in four wonderful colours. <laughs> Why does it come in four colours? Because each one of those colours has different games on it. Oh, so, if you okay. want all the games, you have to buy all four colours. Oh, blimey. That's... Oh, Okay. That's fine, I'll just buy all four of these things. They've only got four games on, they can't be that expensive. Wrong, they're $50 each. Oh, wow, okay, that's... $50 for four games. So, that's $200 for 16 games, which gives us a grand total of $12.50 per game. <laughs> which, on the grand scheme of things, doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, I'd pay $12.50 for a game. Yes, Although but would you pay these games for four? Exactly. If you Although only wanted these one games, of them. <laughs> yeah, these games as well are well, thirty odd years old. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I suppose they would. Yeah. 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 Um, would, would they so, play well on that format? Well, yeah. I mean, they're they're being emulated by the same team that did the Mega Drive Mini, and that plays well enough. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's a tiny... Oh, one thing I didn't mention earlier as well, the screen size for the tiny little thing is um, 1.15 inches. <laughs> corner to corner. But that's, like, barely yep. three centimetres. Yep. I Stupid, think even the old-school Game Boy was bigger than that. <laughs> oh, the, the old-school... Yeah, it's um, the Game Boy Micro, is it? Or the Game uh, Boy... Yeah. Yep. Something has a two micro. inch screen. That has a two inch screen, just right, for comparison. Okay. And that was deemed too small at the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I do actually have a Game Boy Micro. Of course he does, mm. the Nintendo fan. Yeah, I got um, of course he does. It was a birthday present or Christmas? No, birthday present from my uh, my other half Tasha. A lovely green <laughs> colour one. And that nice. is small, but. Yeah, this is yeah. nearly half the size. Wow, okay. In, in screen size. But that's okay, because there's a big window. <laughs> now, this is a magnifying screen, and there was actually one at the time when the Game Gear was released. There was a big window for that as well, because the screen was a bit... Uh, it was a bit small, to be honest. I actually do own an original Game Gear. Um, yeah. I don't have it to hand, annoyingly. Um, but the screen on that, yeah, it could have been a bit bigger. The good thing was it was in colour, so it was easier to see what was going on than um, the original Game Boys at the time, which yeah. was why I stupidly opted to get one. <laughs> Mum and Dad basically said, you can have a Game Boy or you can have a Game Gear. And I went... Uh, I'd like the shit one, please. <laughs> <laughs> and thus your so, interest in gaming started. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, you can get this big window. Now, I've seen conflicting things on this. The only way to get the big window is if you buy the bundle pack of all four. Right, OK. Um, you can't buy it separately. Now, some places I've seen... Um, the the bundle is just two hundred dollars for all four and the big window, <clears throat> but other sources I've looked at have, um, are saying that they're charging an extra fifty dollars for the big window, making it two hundred and fifty. So I'm not entirely sure what one. It's not exactly value for money either way, is it? No. Let's be honest. Um, but yeah, that's that's the only way you can kind of play so that you can see anything. Is you have to buy all four, and you have to spend over two hundred dollars. <laughs> Which not many people are going to want to do. No, no considering the not. the Mega Drive Mini was only what was it about seventy quid? Was it here, or am I wrong about that? The Mega Drive Mini was seventy pounds. Yeah, yeah, seventy, a eighty dollars. Yeah, yeah. two hundred dollars is a massive comparison. It's ridiculous. And when you compare that to the the PlayStation, the little PlayStation that was released, that was only about what was that sixty seventy pounds yeah, or something. It was as about well. the same bracket. And the, the NES and the snares, roughly the same 
And they come with more than 16 games. Yeah. <laughs> they come with a lot more than 16 games. Yeah. And you can actually play them. Yeah. Like, this, it, like watching somebody try and play this on the video, it looked ridiculous. Because <laughs> they're kind of holding it in a couple of fingers, trying to use their... Th- it, it just looked like it's going to make your hands cramp up yeah. and just cause you to get... Um, uh, our, what is it? RSI? Oh, repetitive strength. Yeah, yeah. You're just gonna, yeah, you're just gonna knack your thumbs out. <laughs> Which most kids my age would have done with a Game Boy anyway. I suppose I better look yeah, after my exactly. thumbs. And the good thing is, well, I say the good thing is, looking through all sixteen games, um, I've heard of five of them. Right. <laughs> Five of sixteen. Okay. Yeah. So that's and twenty-seven and a half percent. Mainly because I own three of that five. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> yeah, or, and still own them actually on the Game Gear. Oh wow. Okay. Um, and annoyingly, you you, if I wanted to play those five games that I know, I'd have to buy three of these devices. Wow, because wow, they're three... spread across the... Right, okay. Because three are on the black one, one is on the blue one, and the remaining one is on the red one. That's helpful. Yeah, I won't go through all the games, because most people probably won't have heard of most of them. But um, the best one is the black one, which has got Sonic the Hedgehog on it. Standard. Um, Puyo Puyo 2... Uh, I've heard of. I don't know anything yeah, about it though. I've I've heard of that one and sort of recognised it from the video. Outrun, the kind of eighties looking driving game. Yeah. And a game. It it kind of looked like a, an RPG game that I've never heard of called Royal Stone. Oh okay. So that's probably going to prove to be the most popular one, mainly because of Sonic and Outrun, I would assume, because they're going to be the kind of two most recognisable games out of all of these, I would have thought. Yeah. Um, and the fact that they're on the same system. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go through all the games for all the other ones, because we'll be here till Christmas. <laughs> and some of listening to me butchering some Japanese pronunciation of names could be quite entertaining <laughs> or quite offensive, depending on what side of the fence you fall. Yes. Um, so, yeah, that that's my um, my offering. Don't buy one. Don't buy one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy one unless you're clinically insane. Yes, Outrun isn't worth it. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't think like... Outrun's ever been worth it. But Also, Sonic is on the Mega Drive Mini. Yes. And one of the other games on here that I am aware of, a game called Columns, which is on the red one, which is basically Tetris, yes. that is also on the Mega Drive Mini. It is indeed, yeah. That, I think that's one of the first games I ever played, actually, in life. Columns on the Mega oh, what, Drive. Columns? I loved Columns on, on the Game Gear. It was the music, I think, that I remember mostly. Mm. Oh. And it... It just got so fast by the end, it yes. was literally a button mash. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I only ever remember the, the fast music for about five seconds, because after that I just immediately lost. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, so yes. yeah, so don't get a Game Gear. Game well, Gear uh, Micro, yeah. don't bother. Yeah, yeah, try and find... To be honest, I know, I know it's going to cost you probably close to £4 million in batteries for the rest of your life, but it's probably <laughs> still a better option to get an original Game Gear. Yeah, it, it's bad when you recreate something and then charge more than the thing you're recreating, and everyone looks at it and goes, well, I'll just buy the first thing. <laughs> Unless that's what they're trying to do. Maybe they yeah, want maybe. second-hand dealers to earn money. Maybe. To be honest, I'm not sure how Sega still exists as a company, but there we go, that's another story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Considering, you know, you can get a hell of a lot of... Um, is it Nez and Snez games on the on the Switch Online membership? Mm-hmm. Um, yep. I'm trying to remember the cost of that. I'm definitely not Googling it right now. Um, yeah, you can get that plus an actual yearly subscription to an online service on a it's main... It's about £35, I think, something like that. Uh, Nintendo Switch. Here we go. Nintendo Switch, online subscription prices. Um, 
$19.99 for a year subscription to Switch Online, which includes those, you know, old school games, plus, like I say, a year subscription to their online oh, service. Oh, that's the single one, isn't it? You can get the family one oh, for, like, get family, four devices, yeah. which is about £30, which is still exactly. better value for money, to be honest. Exactly. There's other things you can get. Yeah. Or just get one of those Sega compilation games that they did for, like, the PlayStation oh, yeah. 3 or whatever it was. That's probably yeah. got most of these games on it. PS3 and 4, I think. Yeah, they're, they're, there's probably Nintendo ones as well. Yeah, I've got mine Popping somewhere. everywhere. Yeah, just get one of them, because I should think the games that you've heard of will be on it. Exactly. <laughs> Including Echo the Dolphin, which I never bloody understood. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. that's on the Mega Drive Mini, and it's still very hard. <laughs> All I did was swim around for half an hour and get... Jellyfish, that was my experience with Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, I don't know and who then... I just spoke to, but apparently they said something I don't understand, so let's carry on. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> and then die. Yep. yep. Let's jump over this rock. That's nice. Let's jump back over this rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's not what I'm speaking about today. I wasn't going to speak you're about Echo going, the Dolphin. You're not a t- go on, do, do a, a 10, 15 minute thing on Echo the Dolphin <laughs> now, I dare you, unprepared. I could do a I could, I could do a let's play video of Echo the Dolphin. That could be entertaining. Be, be the shortest video ever. <laughs> <laughs> now, funnily enough, what I was going to speak about today um, sort of starts similarly to yours, which is there was a Japanese TV advert, <laughs> Ooh. or at least a Japanese trailer. Mm. Same same thing. Um, announcing what is in store or more details on what is in store for the pokemon sword and shield expansion pass that Ah. is first the first part of it coming out by the end of june what have they still not given a date they did give a date in this in this Ah. trailer Ah. uh, 17th of june which is mid-june which i'm happy with (laughs) that's good it is yes so that means that in 13 days on time of record now, as it's a Thursday, uh, it will be out. So when we next record a podcast on Thursday the 18th of June, it would have been out for a day. And mm-hmm. I would be absolutely loving it. And I will obviously be talking about it. In a spoiler-free way for yourself and anyone else who may end up getting it, may not, whoever, same thing, you know. Lovely. But either way, for now... I'm just excited for it in general. <laughs> I don't have any specific <laughs> points to go over. Um, but with it, are you all right with me talking about what's in it for a start? Yeah, please yeah. do. Yeah, because I didn't see this. Um, the, the only thing I know is there's two different sections. Um, yes. The first one, for some reason, even though it's meant to be based in the UK, you go to a <laughs> Japanese dojo. Yes, you do. And something about a slowpoke. Yes, which now has a slow bro gal- uh, Galarian form. Ah. And instead of a shelter biting it on the tail, a shelter bites it on the arm. So it's got like a shelter shell on its arm. Right. <laughs> and I'm trying to remember what type it is. Obviously, slow bro is psychic water. Yeah, it's kind of a pinky yellowy colour, isn't it? Yeah. Galarian um, slow bro has poison in it somewhere, but I can't remember if they drop the psychic or drop the water. It's poison psychic. There you go. That makes sort of sense. Yes. Although with the thing on its arm, I'd all and also with the fighting dojo, I would have put it as a fighting type. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's yeah. <laughs> the good thing about it is it's the first official poison psychic type. It's the first time they've used that type combination. Oh, okay. Which is, I actually think, quite interesting because hmm. I always like it when they bring out a new type combination of anything. I'm like, oh, yeah. brilliant new type combination. Oh, it's an awful Pokemon. I don't care. You know, <laughs> uh, this Galarian Slowbro, it's not awful, but yeah, it's 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 pretty nice. It's uh, interesting to say the least. I'd suggest people Google it and just have a look at least. But yeah, um, yes, as well as Galarian Slowbro, we have a few other sort of different forms of Pokemon coming in, uh, which include, obviously we've had Galarian, uh, Galarian, Gigantamax form, sorry, I should say. 
Mm-hmm. We've had a Gigantamax Charizard. Yes. Which goes, you know, like wings of fire and looks like an actual proper dragon and everything. We're now going to be getting the Galarian Blastoise and Galarian Venusaur. Uh, Galarian, Christ, I keep saying that. Gigantamax Blastoise <laughs> and Gigantamax Venusaur. Uh, we haven't. Uh, for some reason, I thought we already had them with um, Pokemon Home. Yes, no, we don't yet. Ah. We've seen right. glimpses of them in previous trailers for the expansion pass. That's probably why, yeah. Yeah, but we're now finally getting the actual proper... We've, we've been given official artwork for them. Yeah. I mean, uh, Gigantamax Blastoise has got cannon, cannons coming out of everywhere. It's brilliant. <laughs> and then Gigantamax Venusaur basically just makes that big plant It's coming out that's coming out the back of it. Just like a massive tree encompassing all of it. It's... It's pretty good. Fair enough. And with them, I believe we're getting the Gigantamax starters, which is the Gigantamax score bunny and everything. It, by everything, I mean obviously Gigantamax Rillaboom and Gigantamax Intellion. So we have that to look forward to, and I'm excited. <laughs> Lovely. It seems ridiculous that they didn't have them in the base game. Yes. For the, for the starters of... Fair enough, not Blastoise and uh, Venusaur, because they're not actually technically in the game. Yes. Um, but the starters are, obviously. They are, <laughs> yes. And um, they're going to be bringing in an item, um, I believe, called Dynamax Soup. I don't know if it's going to be something you have to make in your Pokemon camp as a meal, or mm. anything like that, but um, it will give... The way they describe it, and it's... I've only got one issue with it. The way they describe this item is Pokemon that are able to Dynamax will then be able to Gigantamax if they have this soup. So basically, if you just use the item on someone that can Dynamax, they'll be able to Gigantamax if they've got a Gigantamax form. So your starter, you can give it some Dynamax soup, and then that means forever it'll be able to Gigantamax. Right. Because only some can Gigantamax, not all. Like, not every Charizard can Gigantamax. Yeah. But then I was thinking, every Pokemon can Dynamax. <laughs> so when they say... Yeah, technically, in some form yeah. it can, yeah. Yeah, every single one can Dynamax. So when they say, give the soup to ones that are able to Dynamax and make them Gigantamax, well, that's everyone. <laughs> but yeah, so... Mm. Pokemon that can't... Well, Pokemon that can Gigantamax but the specific one you've got can't will be able to after this new item so Fair I'm enough. looking forward to that because there's a couple of you know if you catch a Pokemon on your run through and you want it to Gigantamax but that specific one can't give it that item and then eventually it will be able to that's the gist of it fair enough yeah but um yes and we're getting new legendaries we we knew this oh, already what, specifically for these areas. Yes, we knew this already. I, you go to this dojo like you said earlier, and you get given a fighting legendary little cub thing. Yes, called Cub Fu, and it can evolve into a different form of one Pokemon. It will be a water fighting, or I think dark fighting. Correct me if I'm wrong, people in comments. Depending on which house ta- you begin. Hello. Hello. Ed seemed to have lost me there for a minute, but he was absolutely I fine did. my end. <laughs> oh, okay. That's weird. A wa- water something, you yeah. were saying. <laughs> yeah, it can evolve in, or it evolves into a legendary that I believe has two forms, a water fighting and a dark fighting, based on what tower you go to further training. Oh, uh, yes, I remember seeing that on the first, um, first thing. Yeah, because it has to fight on its own, doesn't it? Yes. And once you complete one tower, it'll evolve one way. Or if you complete the other tower, it will evolve the other way. Exactly. And I'm just really looking forward to how all of this is going to pan out and work. Because mm. yeah, because obviously with that, we're not just going to get obviously those that new dojo and the two towers. We're going to be getting just the new island itself. Yeah, I mean there must be towns and wild air. Uh, whether they're going to put like a wild land within yeah. each expansion as well which would make sense because that's kind of how they sold sword and shield it yes um, well they've got yeah they'll have over a hundred new pokemon to not new a hundred pokemon available to catch that weren't previously oh okay well, that's in this. Good. what and like then, 
other older ones as well that weren't in Sword and Shield that yeah, might exactly. have been in, like Ruby or something. Yeah, exactly right. So okay. that would be yeah, that would get. And then the same for the Isle of Tundra in in autumn. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yes, and I I believe if I remember rightly, this entire island is going to be um uh you're going to be able to use your camera sort of rotation and panning what's it like gyroscope that sort of thing. You're going to be able to use that on the entire island like you can in the wild area. Yeah, I kind of want them to actually make that a thing yes. everywhere. I think they I will was go annoyed, in forward, yeah. I was annoyed that you couldn't you could only do that in the wildlands. I kind of understood it, but they yeah. kind of made it again a selling feature and it was like here it is, but only here. Yeah. Exactly. It so, it seems like they're going to be doing that from now on because obviously they're going to be doing it in these two expansion passes, so I would expect them to be doing that in the next game whatever that may be. Well, it might just be something that they patch into this one. Once yeah. the once the first expansion's in, it might be part of that update that kind of adds it back into the base game. It's quite easy to, he says, because he knows so much about game development. <laughs> Obviously, it, we're all it it should, it, it, If it's a mechanic that's already in the game, it should be fairly simple for them to just retroactively add it in. So Yeah. Indeed, yeah. Uh, I'm... Quickly going to Google the actual thing because I can't. I don't want to miss anything else. But that's pretty much. Yeah. No. I just wanted to talk about what was coming up, and because by the time we next record something, mm -hmm. I will have played it. You will have completed the whole thing, <laughs> hopefully from not. beginning to end, twice. Yeah. Hopefully not. I'm just I, looking at what. I take it you've already pre-ordered it. Yes. Yeah. I have pre-ordered it. It yeah. does cost money, obviously. Yes, but this seems like they're doing this rather than get you know doing like a yellow or a crystal sort of variant. Yeah, but then they cost money anyway, didn't they? Exactly. So. I mean, it, this is about twenty five pounds, so it's about the price of half a game, and I'm pretty sure that's for both expansion passes. So it's it, yeah, I believe it is for yeah. So you should get the Tundra one yeah, later exactly. in the year for yes. free. He says in inverted yes. commas. So it's not it's not actually that <laughs> bad, and it, and if they. Decide to do any more expansion passes next year, you'll get another two loads of content for twenty five quid again, and basically it means you've got four loads of free content for the price of a what free, four loads of content for the price of a game, and it will probably tally up to be the same as a game anyway. Yeah, and you won't have to start with a completely brand new save game going through the base game exactly, again from yeah. the beginning like you normally do. You can just focus in on the new bits. Yes. If you do so wish, rather than go, great, I get to do a starter again and do the whole eight gym thing again. Exactly. Great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just looking at yeah, I'm just looking at some of the Pokemon that will be available and you've got Psyduck, Lion, Poliwag, Magnemite, Execute, Chansey, Tangler, Kangaskhan's gonna be in there, which is good. Nice. Well you know what that means? That means my second playthrough of Gen One only Pokemon will yeah. be uh much better. Exactly, because I, I, I'm sure I'm yeah. quite limited at the minute, and I'm sure I've read this from an interview that um, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name now. <laughs> uh, Satoshi Tajiri. I'm sure I'm sure I've read an interview of him saying that um, if you were to start a new game, you'd be able to access this area as soon as you can access the wild areas. Yes, because yeah. that's when you first see the Psyduck, don't you? Yeah. On in one of the train stations. Yeah, so basically as soon as you can travel by train, you can get to this yeah. area. And I assume yeah. then the level of the Pokemon will be respondent to the level that you're at, you know, so if you, you go would there, hope yeah, so. If you go there <laughs> as a champion you'll see level sixty they do that in the wild area anyway, to be honest. If you go back to the wild yeah, area true. after winning so many gyms, you they're about the right level. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh Volcarona's gonna be in there. Brilliant. That means nothing to no, me. No, that's fine. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bug fire type, and it's just quite nice. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. but, um, but yeah, that's all from me on that one. I just wanted to talk about it, because there's not many people I can talk to about it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not now we're locked in our houses for the rest of time. Very true. We might be allowed out one day. Yeah, yeah right? one day. I mean, we've got a big plan we need to finish. I say finish, we need to start. Very true, yeah. We we were aiming to get that done before Christmas, but yes. it's a good job we didn't say which Christmas. Yes, exactly. It? Yeah. Christmas 2024. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we keep teasing people with this big announcement that we're doing, but we'll get there. 
Yeah. One day. We'll get there. We know what we're doing. Exactly. We just well, need, we just as need... much as we ever know what we're doing. Yes. <laughs> we have the skeleton, now we just need the rest. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, that's all from me on that one. Next time you hear from me will be... Well, you know, all you listeners, next time you hear from me will be uh, a man that's excited to play new Pokemon content. Whoop, whoop. Exactly. I think even when Sword and Shield came out, it was on a Friday, so I probably had at least a week or two until I spoke to you. But this time it'll be 24 hours. Yeah, and I expect it completed by the time you spoke to me. (laughs) (laughs) We shall see. We shall see. Mm. Cool. Sounds good. Indeed. Well, I'm going to go and grab another beer. Uh, I think I'm going to crawl into bed. Yes, I'm going to do that as well. (laughs) All right, fair enough. (laughs) Beer in bed. Sounds like a nice end Uh, to it. I think I'm going to tea in bed Uh, because I've got no beer in the house. Fair enough. Well, I shall leave you to your tea. I shall leave you to your beer. (laughs) Indeed, yes. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, until next time, I hope the house is all good. Yes, yeah. um, um, Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> we'll get there bit by bit, so it's 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 good at the minute, so Exactly. And I've no idea what videos of mine people have seen by two weeks' time, but I hope you've enjoyed them. Same. I mean I hope I will have recorded and edited something by then. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll do something, we just don't know what it is. But we hope you no. like it. <laughs> yep. And if you don't, go away. <laughs> exactly. Oh well, until then, goodbye everyone. Thanks for listening. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye.